Hi there, and this is one for the uh, accountants and financial planners out there that dabble in the self-managed super fund space for their clients. Um, just had some further uh, training provided by one of the lenders who are really strong in this area. And uh, look, there's, there's quite a few things which a lot of accountants and uh, financial planners will probably be across in this space. Um, but there's one that I just thought sometimes there's a little thing that you think, oh, that, that might be of interest to people. And in this particular case, I thought the interesting one was where you're buying a commercial property. Uh, it could be the property that you're going to put your, um, your, your business in. Um, you're buying that commercial property through your self-managed super fund. And uh, obviously on top of the purchase price is GST, which you're going to get back. Uh, but there's going to be a time lag. And typically, if your uh, self-managed super fund did not have uh, that money in it to pay for the GST, then you might have to be in an awkward situation where you have to make additional contributions to fund the GST for the limited amount of time that it's going to be um, owing. So uh, this particular lender, not only do they lend on the property for the SMSF uh, funding the purchase price, but they also do a short-term loan for the GST. So that really overcomes that problem of having to put additional money into your super fund. Uh, there are a lot of other little pluses and minuses that come out of this uh, lending space um, seminar that was given. So if you want to find out more about SMSF uh, borrowing, uh, for commercial or residential properties, more than happy to have a chat to you. Cheers for now.